Good morning from Curry's and it's time for our first update of 2024. Now I haven't been up for a while, I'm very sorry, but there, on the positive side there's tons to talk about. So we're going to take you on round and show you as much as possible. Let's go. Starting up here yet, yeah, so the beast is gone. Now I did say a while back I hoped it travelled. Well, sad news is it didn't travel. But if we go on down here, yeah we have the Jumpin' Astros being dismantled and it's inside there all stripped down. Let me get a closer shot of it now. Yeah, it looks unrecognisable, but that is the Jumpin' Astro all in bits. And yeah. Moving on to the Crazy Frog now. It's still here, however, it's all been like stripped down. I think it might be for inspections and stuff, and I think that's why the Jumpin' Astro is like that too. But anyway, yeah, the ghost train stuff's still here and stuff. So we're going to continue on right now and see what else there is to see. At the Dodgems now, and sadly, yeah, a Walter XXL is there. Yeah, you can just see in the corner there. And also, you can see here, but there's new RGB lighting on the side of the token box. Looks absolutely amazing. And then the Dodgems are still here too, looking all brilliant. And yes, this is the thing that a lot of people have been talking about. Sizzler was removed earlier last week and yeah it's completely gone. It looks so weird doesn't it? You can see it's all emptied out. The boats for Aquavalia there, the beast pay box is there and then there's the carousel back and stuff. Oh yeah, it's a juvenile there. I don't know what could replace this. I think it could be back or I'd love to see Cyclone return if they still have it but yeah it's extremely interesting. And still the Cyclone pay box is still here and stuff. Bits of the waltz are still there and you can see there one of the caterpillar trains but the thing is, yeah the coaster did go to the Thunderland RDS event as, San as the Santa Express. So yeah, and then they kept the trains here over the off season and then the parts of the waltz are here and the car so I think sadly it will be returning. No! Now we're on to Aqua Valley and as you can see the top sign there has been removed and stuff. All the boats have been removed. It's basically just been stripped down to protect all like the key parts, some of the elements. But there's still some parts about it and yeah. Oh dear, look at that. Yeah, the first drop's gone. Yeah, it's, it's just over there. Yeah, it's just there. I don't know why. Probably getting maintenance. So we find the dragon. Yeah, it's there. And then there's one of the loads there for Aqua Valley. Now, yeah, I remember seeing this on maps and some people thought that would be a new ride, but sadly, yeah, it's just one of the loads. And then, yeah, you can see there the smiley photo booth and other parts of the stuff. But yeah, that's all we have out round the back. And I think this will be the same. Now let's go back and see what's happened down there over at Kittyland. So round at Kittyland here, as you can see, yeah, there's a few wee bits lying around here and stuff. But if we, yeah, if we continue on up, yeah, there's a few vans and stuff here doing a few stuff, and that signs back. Now, apparently, there's a new K Land's got new ownership since Wilmot died, and this can also be backed up by the fact that there's a Facebook post because they're looking for grind, like rides to come here. The only ride that I know that's coming so far is the wheels returning. But yeah, they're looking for stuff like a fun house waltzer and the interesting part is a Miami or ghost train. And with that, that is the Curry's Fun Park Port Rush February update. To be honest, I don't expect that I'll be back for a bit now. But if I am back, I'll make sure to update you and we'll see what's happening with Sizzler. Thank you for watching and goodbye.